The first Spider-Man 2 update is finally coming out on March 7th, but will it include the first DLC in the game? Welcome back guys, if you're excited for the upcoming Spider-Man 2 update, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. So be sure to subscribe to catch all the latest and freshest news and updates. But in today's video, I'll cover all the features and details we're about to get in the upcoming update in March. And I will also cover if the first DLC will appear in this update. Alright, first is this Insomniac Games post which describes and confirms the Spider-Man 2 update on March 7th. It definitely got the Marvel fans pumped about the update, which is going to expand the game. First is the new Game Plus feature, which is quite the most desirable feature from the game so far. The post has also revealed that the new suits will be added to the game. There is a huge chance the Cosmic Spider-Man suit, as well as the Spider-Man 2099 Miguel suit and others, alongside with the four kit collaboration suits, will be released as well. A daytime change feature, as well as the ability to switch the colors of Peter's symbiote or his web between black and white, is also coming to the game. According to some sources, the first DLC called Beetle Infestation might be released with this update, especially considering that the first DLC files were recently leaked and I talked about it in this video, you can check it out after you finish watching this one. The hype about this game is going to be insane if they release one of the DLCs alongside with the improvements on March 7th. Now speaking of the Spider-Verse DLC, there is a good possibility the Spider-Verse anomaly will be released just before the upcoming Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse movie comes up. In addition, we have recently got some Spider-Verse related discussions from Sony, as as well as this cutscene from the game that we got after collecting spider bots in the game. So the upcoming update might be related to Spider-Verse at some point, but unfortunately the DLC might be still delayed and released later in 2024. When we get new details and reveals of the update, I will let you know and share it with you guys if you subscribe. There is also planned one more feature in this update which fans are so excited about and this is Venom's free roam. We've definitely seen this glitch before in the game, but I think fans would be really happy to play for Venom normally and complete different tasks or missions in the city. Besides that, we will get a huge chance of playing for Venom in the upcoming spin-off game from Insomniac where the host will be most likely Eddie Brock and you can check out more information in this video on the end screen now. 